Hello friends, my name is Dennis here and today I'm going to show you how to create a self-extracting archive, otherwise known as SFX archive. Okay, so first things first, why would you want to create an SFX archive? Well, there are two main reasons for this. You could want to distribute your own software, you've all seen these .exe files which you can the setup files which you click and then they expand and distribute files and folders in your program files and so on. Another reason is that you may want to send an email attachment to someone and you want it compressed and you're not sure whether this person has any software to decompress uh, the file you're sending. So in all those cases you may want to create an archive, uh, especially the SFX archive. Also don't forget to subscribe. To this channel uh, also comment below I'll leave a link in the description to some other videos that teach you more about the basics of compression okay so I have a folder here named fashion and I'm going to create a self extracting archive out of it now I'm going to use WinRAL which is a common uh, compression software for Windows but you can also use other compression softwares I guess they have this feature so for simplicity I right click on the folder that I want to create an FX SFX archive for so I add to archive now here there are lots of parameters I'll choose uh, zip to make it easier again there's a link in the description about the basics of which one is the best format of this but because of this tutorial I just want to make it short I'll choose zip because it is faster then I create an SFX archive so everything here is literally done and you can go on and do the compression I'm, I'm not going to change anything on the dictionary size and the compression method uh, maybe something little to do with some advanced settings if you come here to SFX options even just here you already done but just to make some more couple of adjustments we have SFX options here and in these options you can see path to extract you can set a particular path where you are uh, where your folder is going to extract all your information that you're sending now in case I set a folder for example let me choose C then uh, let me put it in C uh, oops. and uh, let me create the folder called Dennis and now let's say this folder does not actually exist because I'm not sure the person whom I'm sending this uh, information whether he has a folder named Dennis but because of this SFX uh, algorithm it is going to create this folder while he's extracting and it's going to put this information this folder that I'm sending into that to that folder that will be created so I can also make some other setups the text and icon so the title of the FX window so I can uh, let me say let me put there this title your mail maybe and then I can also add some extra information for the person whom I'm sending or if it is a software I can add some information here <laughs> for the distribution purpose so I can say extracted to uh, C extracted to C uh, this information could be helpful to the person who is receiving this and so on in case this is completely uh, not so necessary in case you do not set the in case you do not set the extraction path then it will be extracted in the same folder or the person will be required to set his own path in which to extract this but for software distribution purposes it is better always to set this and of course you would want to set this to program files and so on but for simple purposes you may not need to set that so I say ok and then I start so it's going to take yes it's done so you notice that what we have here is a .exe file it's it's an application file which contains uh, the things that I have uh, this same folder is now compressed and put in this fashion uh, this is an exe file now so when I right click uh, double click on it 
it's going to bring a small pop-up dialog and there it comes so this is the title of the uh, that I gave to my uh, to my SFX then this is the information uh, I have recorded with it to be displayed to whoever is going to receive this so this is the destination folder that I said so the person can change this later on but let me just leave it like that and I begin the extraction and after the extraction let me go to my local disk C and uh, here you see this folder it was not there and it contains the information that I have sent so thank you for watching this video don't forget to hit that subscription button also hit the bell so that you are notified when we upload new videos help me grow this channel by subscribing and sharing this with others also check out my other videos on tech tips uh, especially this data compression thank you